sis, I need you to come a little closer. Take a look at this lace. I know, right? You don't see the lace, but that's what I'm saying. The edges on this wig makes it look like it's coming straight out of your scalp. You got to see it. ladies welcome to the channel it's your girl carrie m if you're new here please click on that pretty red subscribe button hook your girl up if you don't want to miss any of my beauty fashion or lifestyle videos make sure you turn on that notification bell because i does a little bit of dibbling dabbling and everything you heard so we're going to be talking about this unit that is on my head today now firstly i just want to thank i like care for kindly sending me over this unit to review for you ladies today now this unit is definitely different from what i'm usually used to okay i know you are peeping the naturalness of these edges okay so that's what this unit is mainly about okay um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a quick unboxing i'm going to give you the details on the hair so you can get all that juiciness and then i'm going to jump into the styling portion also while i'm kind of giving you my experience on how this wig was going for me as i was styling it and i'll save my thoughts final thoughts towards the end of the video so let's go so again the unit is from i like hair the name of the unit is called realistic kinky edges seven by five lace closure wig now i have it in 18 inches now this unit is 100 virgin human hair from one donor the density is 180 percent it is a natural black color again the hairline says that it's kinky edges natural hairline you can dye the unit if you choose to do so we do get adjustable straps we have comb we have an elastic band in this unit and it is a 22 and a half inch con uh, circumference which is considered a standard medium cap size all right so i'm gonna say this right as i'm styling this unit um first of all the first plot was looking like really good i loved how it looked when i initially put it on my head i was like okay i see where it's going it's looking real natural the curls in the front was like really super curly and all of that good stuff right but after i went ahead and bleached the knots and washed it and all of that stuff and i had the hair sitting overnight i noticed that the edges which they call edges um are more so looser than it was initially so the curls weren't as tight so i was like i don't know how this is gonna work out, okay also what i noticed on the initial look of the unit though it was really natural looking it's really thick so the thickness of the hair was a little bit too much for me so i did feel like i needed to brush some back you could pluck some if you want to and i also feel like it was too long i know it's edges and stuff like that um but edges people call it edges edges and baby hairs to me is the same thing in this case i feel like they did give us the natural edges, but it's also called natural baby hairs. It's just super curly baby hairs. That's in my opinion. And I just feel like it was extremely too long. I just feel like it didn't fit me. So I did have to go in and cut some of them off, shorten it up a little bit, kind of thin out the look a little bit, you know, whatever I needed to do. So with that being said, I did do a few attempts on this unit. On First of all, the unit itself is easy. But when it comes to the edges, I thought it was going to be easy. I feel like the point of it is to be kind of um, giving you more of a realistic look and having to do less. So I feel like this unit should be something that you could wear glueless because you don't have to worry about the lace because you have these curly edges kind of out there. It covers the lace a bit. It looks more natural. You don't have to do any plucking. You know, you get what I'm saying. It's supposed to just give ooze naturalness now with that being said i wanted to kind of let this unit live up to this full potential and just given that full off natural look on the edges i mean that's the whole point of this unit is for the edges to just be super natural so with that being said i tried a few attempts and it just was like a struggle so i'm gonna say this off jump i don't consider the unit a beginner from the unit and when it comes to the edges i feel like you are going to have to play in it and you're gonna have to do some things to get it to feel comfortable for you firstly i do feel like um the curling products that i did put in it i was trying to keep it in its most natural state so i was like okay i'm gonna wet it a little bit and i'm just gonna let it curl and do its thing and that's it i didn't want to really 
you know, use any like hard gels or anything like that to kind of make it like hard, crunchy baby hairs. I wanted it to look like natural, just relaxed edges. And as you can see, that didn't work because A, like I, I said, A, one, like I said, it was like super long. Like the hair is long, y'all. And then secondly, the curls weren't as curly as I wanted them to. So it was more of bigger tight curls and which left the hair kind of sticking up some places the baby hairs or the edges whatever you want to call it was like lifting like if you look at it from the side you would see like it was so much up off my forehead it was just like real big and bulky and I was like not feeling it at all so using the satin wrap to kind of flatten it down a little bit while I was doing my makeup I thought okay after that it's gonna look good but realistically and I know you guys saw it when I took it it just looked like a mashed up mess so I was like yo this is not going to work I feel like my thoughts right after that ended up being my final thoughts but you know I still manipulated I still played in it I still tried a couple of things to try not to take it out of its natural state and element if that makes sense and nothing was working so I just wanted to show y'all what result I got um immediately after trying to keep it in its most natural state because I didn't want to take away from that before showing you guys what it looked like just in case somebody wants to see like well what would it look like if you kept it as natural as you possibly could right so me personally um for wearing a unit on the regular like if I wanted to go outside and really wear it on the regular I would have to use it like this I personally think it looks so much better when I took the hot comb and swooped the hair back into the other hair. Um, with that being said, I did it in a way to, I, I didn't add like any hair, you know, holding spray or anything. Because normally when I push hair back, boy, I get it swooped and flat and clean. I wasn't trying to make it sleek. I just wanted it to come up out of my face. And as you can see, it's giving the most natural, realistic look. The baby hairs aren't giving the curls and the falls that we were expecting to get, but it does still look very, very natural. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I do suggest taking a hot comb and swooping the hairs back into the other hair because as you can see, it's just giving so much of a natural look. It just looks so natural. I wish I would have just did it from the beginning, but like I said, I was trying to keep the edges there. Like where, you know, you know, I was trying to keep it there and make it look like something, but it wasn't working. I do feel like the edges definitely needs to be way thinner for us to actually wear it out and just wild and relax and doing this thing. It's just so thick and it's so long. It's just not realistic enough for me. And honestly, I was not about to get the tweeze in. I, I didn't really want to cut anymore. I just didn't want to make it more difficult. So swooping it back into the hair, I think looks really, really good, y'all. This looks now this looks real you can't tell me this looks like natural hair coming out of my scalp it really really does and i do think that also bleaching the knots made a difference too because you don't see the knots okay then the knots was kind of screaming when i got it the knots were definitely a little bold i don't always bleach my knots but i decided to do so because i wanted the wig to look as natural as i can make it look and i am pleased with the way it came out okay I'm pleased with it. Now, on to a couple of things and specs and stuff that you guys want to know. As far as the fit goes, I feel like it fits okay. Um, it's not like like super humongous. It doesn't have that much space. I feel like it's almost just fitting me with a tensy bit more space. If you have a big head, it might just be fitting you. I think you'll be okay. Now, I know you guys noticed I sold, showed you multiple times. We don't get ear-to-ear -ear lace. It's set up for the lace to stop around right here. And then right up under here is just a regular wig cap. Um, but where your regular edges will be exposed, which in my opinion, I feel like your little edges or whatever you do have being exposed, sideburns, whatever, along with the wig kind of just makes it look even more natural. So I'm okay with that. Now the texture is really nice. It is really soft. The hair is flowing. It's moving. The density feels like it's on the medium side of things. It's not super full at all. The hair is super lightweight. The length is perfect. What I will say though, because this is supposed to be like a kinky curly unit, I'm not really getting kinky curly with this. I'm just kind of getting curly because we have the kinky curly hair, if you know what I'm talking about. You know, our washing goes a little different. The curl's a little bit tighter. It's a little bit smaller. You get a little more shrinkage. These are more so on the medium curls. It's not super loose, but it's like a medium curl. I don't consider it that kinky. Now that I brought that up, I do feel like if the edges were a natural, not just the edges, if the unit itself was a natural kinky curly texture and the unit was actually kinky curly, the edges, I feel like would have looked 
more natural. You know what I'm saying? Because it would have curled better, kinked up a little bit more. That would have been more natural, in my opinion. But all in all, the unit is really cute, y'all. Like I said, the ending result that I have now is the bomb, okay? It's the bomb, okay? If you're someone who's thinking about getting this unit and you want to get this natural look, girl, I'm going to say get it. And I'm going to tell you. Just do what I did and just swoop it back. Don't even waste your time trying to finagle and have it out and all that stuff because it's, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some finesse and, you know, I know. I don't know. It was a little, a little struggle. So I think it looks good the way it is and that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, That's about it. Of course, the link will be in the description box and the promo code, Carrie25, to save you some money and all that stuff. You already heard it at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to wrap this video up. This was fun and I'll see you later. Bye.